First tonight at 11 happening right now. Major cleanup across Metro Atlanta after storms caused flash flooding downtown tonight. The city says some of its rain gauges sowed three hours worth of rain in just 15 minutes. Take a look at some of these photos and videos from earlier this evening. The storms caused roads to flood, leaving cars stranded with people trying to get away, trying to seek shelter on top of them, waiting to be rescued. We know floodwaters also caused the Georgia Aquarium to evacuate and shut its doors early. And the storms also downed trees, knocked out power. Georgia Tech's campus reported several power outages tonight. And take a look at this video. This is from Clark Atlanta University. Look at the hallway there. Tonight, several students are left without nothing and looking for a new place to live after floodwaters destroyed their dorm we dorms. Went, yeah, we want to get you straight out to 11 Live's Cody Alcorn, who is live tonight near Clark Atlanta University's campus with a closer look at some of that damage out there. Cody, is it any better tonight? Yeah, the water has receded, but if I would have been standing here earlier this afternoon at the Clark Atlanta University's music department parking lot, my, it would have been underwater. All of this underwater earlier today, now filled with mud, and this is what we saw a lot of. Cars just tossed around like Legos, an SUV here still on the fence. And again, this is what we saw all across the university. In fact, I was over there a little earlier and caught up with one student who saw the water rising outside of her dorm. The cleanup, muddy streets, clogged drains, and wrecked vehicles. More than three inches of rain over a short amount of time Thursday afternoon wreaking havoc around Clark Atlanta University. God, look, the car is moving. Students watching the water rise inside their dorms. Yeah, it was scary. Cherish Turner was studying for an exam. Somebody like, it's flooding, so I'm like, flooding. I'd be sick if I had I was cool. By the time she got out of the library. Like water rushing down in my shoes, socks, everything. Back at her dorm. I looked out the window and that's how I seen like the large flood. And then more videos just kept coming in of the cars floating. A first for this college student. I've never been in a flood. Like I've never experienced a flood firsthand. And a good reminder for all of us. It really happened like with a blink of an eye. Now as far as that exam. How was your test? Um, I feel like I did good because we still had to go take it. So even a pre-calculus test during the floods could not be stopped. So good thing she uh, did all right on that. Now, the good news here, no significant injuries. We do know there was one student. There was a video that's gone viral. Her leg stuck in the door of a dorm. We believe she might have broken her leg, but that's the only injury we saw from all of this flooding. So it could have been a lot worse. We do know several students displaced tonight, but the campus really coming together to support them along with fellow students to make sure they have enough toiletries and of course somewhere to sleep tonight. Yeah, Cody, very scary for some students for the first time being away from home. Certainly not what they expected. Yeah. Uh, Cody, has the city responded at all to this flooding and what may have caused it to get so bad? Yeah, just a short time ago, the mayor's office did put out a statement saying they've reached out to Atlanta Clark University, also Georgia Tech, where they saw a lot of damage as well. They're giving full support to those universities and, of course, students. Now, they are looking at that. We saw a lot of crews out trying to dig out some of those drains. It just appears just a lot of rain. You mentioned it, three hours worth in about 15 minutes. I mean, even with the best drainage, that's going to cause some flooding. So while it wasn't a lot of rain, it just accumulated here in these low-lying areas and caused for major flooding. So they're out tonight cleaning up some of these areas again a lot of this is just mud and a lot of people with total vehicles so that seems to be the major damage across downtown tonight yeah Cody thank you so much